function f is twice differentiable with f prime the first derivative greater than zero and f prime prime the second derivative less than zero for all real numbers x. If f of two is equal to five and f of three is equal to nine, what is the possible value for f of four? Okay, this graph, we're told that f prime is greater than zero, which means it's sloping up. As x increases, this graph rises. And f prime prime is less than zero, which means it's concave down. So the graph has to look something like this. So if we draw some axes on here, and we're, we're given some values, f of two is equal to five. So I can plot a point here. And we're told that f of three is equal to nine. So if we go out to three, and here we're up to nine, then what's a possible value for f of four? Okay, well, if we draw a line, if we draw a segment here connecting these two points, and we extend that segment one more unit to the right in a straight line right there, this graph at point four has to be below this line because it's concave down. So that line connects those two points and then goes above the graph from there because the graph curves below this straight line that I've drawn in red. So going to the right one, right here we went up by four. So going to the right one more, we have to go up by less than four. So that means five, counting by fours, five, nine, 13. We, didn't, we need a number that is greater than nine, but less than 13. So the only option here is 12. So that's it. To solve that problem, you simply have to understand that the first derivative of a function represents the slope and the second derivative represents the curvature and the fact that the slopes are positive or negative tell us whether a graph is increasing or decreasing and whether the curvature is positive or negative tells us whether the graph is concave up or concave down and with that apply a little bit of reasoning to the given information and it narrows our possible answers down to one choice.